Hi, welcome back to my channel. Let's take a look at the Terum Earth case study today. The case study was revised this year. The solution concept and existing technical environment describe in a more general way now. The previous case study provided more infrastructure details, device data transaction volume, data center location, and network connection, etc. The revised version seems easier, but it gives the flexibility to Google to ask a question in the different scenarios. Are you ready? Pause the video if you need more time to read the case study. I drew the existing technical environment with the lucid chart in the original case study. The same tool I used to draw the Mount Kirk Games architecture diagram. You can check the original Mount Kirk Games video on how to use the lucid chart to draw the architecture. Let's take a look at the existing environment and the requirements. There are two million vehicles either through the real-time messaging or the batch process to send the data to legacy inventory and logistics management systems in on-prem data centers. The vehicle data aggregation and analysis infrastructure now resist in the Google Cloud. The combination of Google Cloud PubSub, Cloud Dataflow, and the Cloud BigQuery for the data ingestion, data processing, and the data analytics. You can check each service last minute cheat sheet video for more details. The on-prem data centers have configured network interconnectors between on-prem and Google Cloud. You can check the details of network interconnectors in the GCP network decision tree video. The dealers and the customers can access the stock management and analytics systems or any other future developing API services. You can choose from GCE, GAE, and GKE for the applications and the services. You can review the cloud computer decision tree video for the difference among GCE, GAE, and GKE to prepare for answering the question in the different scenarios. If you need to deploy container-based workloads, then use GKE with HTTPS load balancers and the stack drive now called a cloud monitoring with the custom metrics to scan up and down the environment. The internal and partner developers can create projects, request resources for data analytics jobs, and centrally manage access to API endpoints through the self-service portal. The recommended Google architecture for this user case is Google Cloud IoT Data Analytics and ML architecture. First of all, vehicles are cellular and use the Cloud IoT Core to handle the front end. Cloud IoT Core is a fully managed service to easily and securely connect, manage, and ingest data from global dispersed devices. It establishes two-way communication with your devices, so decrease the wait up time. Then Cloud IoT Core uses Cloud PubSub for the real-time messaging to ingest the data into the Cloud data flow for the real-time data processing. You, you can use the multi-region BigQuery if you have any questions to decrease the latency and improve the availability and the durability. The recovery and the failover process is managed by the BigQuery. You can then integrate the BigQuery with the data lab or the AI platform as needed to the train any ML models to anticipate the customer needs. Please check my video last minute cheat sheet of Google Cloud Machine Learning on BigQuery ML. AutoML and Google pre-trained models. You may have any question ask you how to store the data or how to archive the data, then that should be using the Google Cloud Storage. The next test area will be on Google Cloud Resource Hierarchy and IAM that I mentioned in the Mount Kirk Games case study. 
Please check the results structure in that video and review the GCP security cheat sheet part 1, IAM and billing to understand IAM principles and the best practices. Use the secret manager to store API keys, create manager secrets, and integrate with the cloud IAM. The last area will be on the CI CD that I mentioned in the Mount Cook games. Please review the video on the Google Kubernetes engine use Jenkins. Thanks for watching and as always subscribe to my channel for more great cloud computing learning tips. See you next time.